This is the date aging template and date countdown template. Uh, these are two templates available at SharePoint-Dashboards.com. We're going to review how to use both of these templates. They're very closely related. The aging template is showing you dynamically how much time has passed since a SharePoint list record has been created or modified or whichever kind of date column you want to work on. But the concept we're shooting for is to help us see how much time has passed, especially to help us identify things that are brand new. The way this template works, it's going to be dynamic. So if something just recently happened, it's going to tell us things like how many seconds or minutes have passed. But after longer periods of time, it's more broad in description. So if it's after an hour, if it's in less than a day, then it's going to say something like five hours, 23 minutes. And then after it's been more than a day, then it's just going to tell us the days and hours. And finally, when we get even broader, after seven days, it's just going to tell us the number of days that have passed. In addition to that text wording, you're in control of highlighting. So this is going to help create focus and highlight on the records that need attention, especially the ones that have recent activity. So all of those color options are adjustable along with the text size and the shorthand for those things. So maybe you prefer something a little more shorthand. In this case, you can see it's just get using letters for seconds, minutes, hours, days, etc. So you have the ability to adjust the appearance of that however you see fit. So let's go ahead and stick with the first theme option. I'm going to copy that template and follow the instructions in the box. And we're going to see how much time has passed since the dates in this column. And normally this template's going to work great with created and modified. I'm going to apply it on this particular column. So I'm going to go to column settings, format this column, advanced and replace the code and now it's showing me how much time has passed since this date again this could be when the record was created or last modified and you can see it's giving it to me in a user-friendly format and then if I want to I can make tweaks to that if I want that appearance to be slightly different according to my preferences that's easy to do so I can go for more of a shorthand notation maybe I want to change the font size, make it a little bit more attention grabbing. Uh, and also I could change the colors if I wanted to. So, uh, you know, maybe I want the old ones um, to be, you know, gray, for example. So I just copy the template and I can make those tweaks and adjustments until I get it looking just the way that I want. So let's see what it looks like with the adjustments. Select all, paste and save. There we go. There's with more of a shorthand notation. You can adjust your column width. You can see it's going to be centered and padded according to your settings. Okay, now closely related to this is the countdown template. And it is very similar, but in this case we're considering a future date. This would be appropriate for a due date, for example. You're wanting to draw attention things that are coming due, and you especially want to know the things that are going to be due very soon. Um, so in this case, you're going to apply many of the same settings. There is an additional color setting for past due. Of course, as we know, sometimes deadlines pass, and you need to account for that. So same type of setup. You just need to copy the template and you can put it into a due date column. So I've got a countdown that I set up there. So I just go to format this column once again, advanced mode, select all and paste. And you can, as with the other one, control the appearance of this. So in this case, it's telling me the date is upcoming. It's going to be one day and four hours from now. And then I've got another one that's going to be nine days from now, so on. So the further it is out, it's just going to give a general description because I'm not especially concerned with how many seconds I care about that type of thing, you know, when we get precisely down to the time it's going to be due. Um, and then, of course, if we went past due, we want to see a minus. So that's a negative 53 minutes. We're 53 minutes past the deadline 
for that item. So you can adjust the styling however you want. You can use whatever kind of background colors and you can even kind of tame them down a little bit by adjusting this opacity. So if you don't like them to be super bright, if that's a little loud, you can just adjust this to make it a little bit more dim. And that is another option available to you. Both of these options, the date countdown template and the date aging template, both are available at SharePointDashboards.com. If you have not used these templates, you can sign up to get access to 21 free templates. These two are part of the subscription package, which as of this video is, are of uh, 165 total templates available at the site. Hope you found that useful and good luck.